Friends, thank you for watching my channel. I just want to remind you if you need wallpaper, go to www.wallpaperboulevard.com. Tell them Spencer sent you. In fact, if you use my hashtag, Spencer Colgan is wallpaper, they'll be sure to give you a 10% off at your checkout. No matter how much you order, they have a wide selection of wallpaper. Check it out. Tell them I said hello and enjoy your discount. This is Spencer Colgan and welcome back to my channel. You see the last video with the green grass cloth and the, um, the, uh, the patterned grass cloth on the other wall, the Kelly Worcester. That was a long day, finished up after midnight. But back in action, let me show you what we're hanging today. It's a peel and stick. Lucky me, right? Let me show you. So we're hanging it in the bathroom. We're gonna wrap the window. We call this a return. You have the wall and then you have it die into the window. That's a return. And so look at this disaster. Better me than you, right? Other than that, it's pretty easy. But that's the problem. So we're gonna do that. I've treated the walls with a clear primer, okay? Uh, you wanna put a primer on all of your walls. When I say primer, I mean a protective coating, a sizing. And so, I did that, I'm just waiting for it to dry. This is the product, it's from York. And you see it's 20 and a half inches wide. And each roll is only 16 and a half feet long. Very important when your customer tells you, I have enough rolls, etc., uh, etc. Et Go through this all the time. Look at the vertical repeat, 20 and a half inches. Which means when I open this up, you'll have the pattern here, whatever this is. Let's say it's a man's head. And then 20 inches below, his head is there again. Okay, so the next thing we would want to know if it's a straight match. And if you look right on the second column of the symbols, you see that it's a straight match, which means that if the man's head appears here on the next sheet, his head is going to appear right there again. If it were a drop match, his head would be here, but on the next sheet, it would be here. And then on the next sheet, it would be back up to here, etc. And then you would have what we call A and Bs. You would have your A's where his head is here, and your B's would be where his head is here. And so you would be hanging the wallpaper coming off of two rolls. You wouldn't use the same roll of wallpaper for your A's, where his head is here, and your B's, where his head is down here. Okay, so let me open this up and show you what we're looking at. I get this call all the time. In fact, before I begin this video, I got a call about texture on the walls. And so the customer was telling me what the deal is. And so I had to tell her nicely what the deal is. On peel and stick wallpaper, just take a look at this. Product will not adhere to textured surfaces. Don't try to put peel and stick on a textured surface. Okay, now look what it says. Allow newly painted surfaces to fully cure for a minimum of four weeks. Why is that? Well, as your liquid paint dries, it releases gas. And those gases will get trapped under your peel and stick product and cause bubbles. Four weeks? I don't think so. But that's what it says. And so, if you get bubbles, they can always say, did you paint it? And you didn't read the directions. You say, yeah, I did. Oh, okay, great. How long did you wait before you painted, before you hung your paper? I waited a day. And they say, okay, great. We don't owe you anything because our directions tell you to wait for four weeks. 
You see, here's what I think. No one's gonna wait four weeks, right? I mean, you do have to wait some time, and I'm not gonna tell you on this video not to wait the four weeks, because I can't. So if you wanna obey four weeks, go right ahead. But I, I'll tell you what I think be, is behind that. They know you're not gonna wait four weeks, and so they know you're not gonna read the instructions. And so when you hang it, they can say, you didn't wait the four weeks. And you, the bubbles are, you caused the bubbles. That's what I really believe is behind this. So having read that, let's, let's take a look at what it says for best results. Apply onto smooth and clean surface. Don't apply onto freshly painted and papered walls. The, let the paint or wallpaper dry for at least four weeks. Now, I don't know what they're talking about here. You're not hanging this over paper. Do not apply to lacquered furniture. The fading of furniture exposed to sunlight is not related. Blah, blah, blah. May not work on heavily textured surfaces. Now, have you noticed that there's a difference in the mentality of these instructions and the one above? Does it sound like the same person wrote them? Does it sound like that the person who directed the printing of the sheep this sheet of paper even read what's above and below because it's contradicting itself, isn't it? Let's read that again. May not work on heavily textured surfaces. You already told us that it wouldn't work on texture. Here, you're saying it may not. Do you see what I'm talking about, folks? And I didn't read this before I went on this video. They're full of doo-doo. They are, they're full of doo-doo may not work on heavily textured surfaces. Test in an inconspicuous area. Hey Google, what does inconspicuous mean? Okay, uh, and before applying to wallpaper, blah, 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 blah. Keep decorations away from cribs and out of reach of young children to prevent choking hazard. Okay, thank you. And if you can read foreign languages, you may wanna, if you're bored, you can read the back of that. Now. Having read that, let's check out our pattern. Now this happens to be a pretty design. This is a very, you know, very beautiful place. You know, a nice upscale condo. I, lo I love working in these places. And so this fits the decor, okay? Uh, what I like about this is if you make a boo-boo, you can take a pencil. You'd never see any corrections on this paper if you had to make a correction, okay? Now, our 20-inch repeat, you will see manifested on your edges. You see that? Keep you, make a memory of this. You see it again there? You see it there, and you see it here. So there's your repeat. So from the top of this one to the top of this one is the amount of inches called a repeat. Okay, and then you can see it elsewhere. You see this one, and you see this one again. Okay? Let me just show you something funny. So the customer says, hey, Spencer, if you want a drink, just go in the fridge, right? So he says, push this. First of all, I got injured. My elbow hurt when I tried to do it. I put... Now, he didn't tell me that he had a hydraulic lift in his fridge that reacted to just the force of your hand pushing it. So I'm like, ugh, ugh, because I don't have a fridge like this. Okay, so I pushed on it. Oh my gosh. And it opened. And then, okay, let me get a soda. The reason I'm showing you this is, look, the fridge closes itself and it locks. How cool is that? If I get money one day, I'm gonna get me one of these. Forget about midnight snacks. Imagine waking up half asleep and you, you're struggling with this thing, you just give it up, right? Look at it, there it goes again. Now watch it close again on its own. Watch this. One, two, wow. Pretty cool, right? If your customer has a bar, you will do better. If they take issue with your installation, uh, just discreetly suggest that they take a shot of Tito's and come back and look at it 
after 15 minutes after they take their last swallow. Usually you'll do better if they look at your paper. If, you, if you're not happy with it, I guarantee you after a shot of this, they'll see it differently. So if your customer has an elevator, like mine does, and you feel funny eating around them, you can always take bites while you're in between floors. Now, if I got stuck on this elevator, have you ever been stuck on an elevator? I have. When I was in college, you know what I did? I studied while I was on the elevator. I had a test and a night class. So I actually got stuck for an hour and a half. And uh, there were no cell phones back then. And I just kept pressing the zzz. Security came, Danny Monk, St. Francis College. He came and I forget how he got me out, but he, uh, I think he had a call like the fire department or something. Their elevator got stuck. So, <clears throat> now before hanging your product, may I suggest to you a lightweight ladder in bathrooms? You know why? You're going to lift this ladder anywhere between 50 to 70 times. And lifting something that weighs 13 pounds as opposed to lifting something that weighs about five pounds or less, there's a big difference on this. Did you say take the stairs? No thanks. You get to the point where if a customer doesn't have an elevator, you start charging them more. So I decided to start my product here. Because I, it, it all works out over here. So, uh, on my channel, you'll rarely see me make a pencil line. I'll just use the level instead to make my plum. Because here's why. This stuff is, you can actually make a mark and see it through the wallpaper. So you gotta be careful. But in this case, I wanted to make a pencil line because I felt like it. Okay, so I'm gonna start hanging from that line and then I can continue under there. You can see the issue, right? Of course you can. Okay, so there you have it. I like to wet the front of the wallpaper with a sponge so that I don't create friction with this and take it off the color. And then if you think happy thoughts, it seems to go better. Think about trees. I love trees and flowers. Those of you who know me are laughing with me at the people who just turn on to my channel. You know, like, who never met me. Because for those of you who have been with me, you know that those new people think I'm off the wall. But if you put wallpaper on the wall for a living, it can cause you to go off the wall. Later on in your career, 
Not right away. I got a call some time ago. From a woman who was getting into an argument with her husband. They had decided imprudently to remove wallpaper together. That's why I started my counseling services for this reason. She said, Hello, I need help removing wallpaper. So I said, Fine, what can I do for you? She said, Well, my husband started taking wallpaper down in our bathroom and it got a lot of holes in it. I said, well, I wouldn't have done that, but sometimes holes make it come down easier. She said, no, 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 they like big holes. I said, well, how did he do that? She said, he, he tried to take it down with a tool. So, I said, well, not understanding the the absurdity that proceeded. I said, well, sometimes you have to use a tool. Well, what, what did he use? She said, you know that thing that you put in screws with? I said, no, I don't. She said, you know the thing that you bang on a wall? I said, nails or screws? She goes, nails, screws, whatever. I said, you talking about a hammer? She goes, that's what I'm talking about. I said, he tried to take down wallpaper with a hammer? She goes, no, the back of it. You know that thing that looked like two, like claws? I said, yeah, that removes nails. She goes, well, he tried to remove wallpaper with that. Click. I became very uh, proficient at pressing red buttons on my phone. When I get stressful phone calls, do you do that too? Do you like to hit the red button? I just went like that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, the claw. He made a lot of holes with a claw. I said, was he angry? Yeah, he was like really angry. I said, well, um, I'm retiring in seven days. So good luck. The last thing I heard her say before I pressed the red button was, but, but, B-U-T. Nope. Sorry. No, no, no. We don't get involved with that. So I counsel now for free for 15 minutes. How do you like it? Isn't it looking mighty fine now? Now, believe it or not, you have to ask your customer, hey, tell me which is up and down. Now, with peel and stick, it's super thin material. Don't think when you get the first sheet up, you got the air, air all out of it. No, 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 you're gonna have to keep working that. Okay, wet it down. Wet it down real good. After getting this into position, you see, uh, peel and stick seams are very difficult. Uh, it's really a difficult wall covering to work with. See that? We'll get rid of them. Okay. But what about this? So here's what I'm going to do. This appears to be too thick to put behind, but I'm going to use my head. Maybe I use a smaller one, but I'm going to get something to push this down so that I can hold my hand here and over here, ideally, even if you have to get a rope, whatever it takes, a dog chain, a, a dog, uh, you know, fabric dog chain, 
you can get this down with the help of somebody pulling it down and you shimmying your thing back and forth. This will put this in place, but I suggest you put paste against the wall so that it slides. It's the only, unless you take off the water tank, which I don't do because I'm not a plumber. I don't do things that I can't do. Now, if you have put paste behind it, look how easily it slides. You see the wallpaper coming down. You see it tightening up. Okay. Still working on it. Then with your knife, cut right above the pipe where there's tension. As soon as you relieve the tension, put the escutcheon on so that it looks nice and neat. Okay. Okay, so we got our first two sheets up. Sorry, I can't show you everything because I'm alone. And of course the video slowed me down. And I like to get home at a decent hour, you know? Now I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> Listen, if you hang peel and stick, please. The product is susceptible to stretching. It's a decal, that's really what it is. So once you maneuver around something like this, you may find that you've stretched the material. And so you want to get your hair blower out, your household hair blower. And you want to be about, you want to start at six inches away from the product and then blow the hot air on it for a couple of seconds, pull it away. You'll see, you'll see that you make your product uh, pull back together by adding heat. Okay, that's one of the tricks to hanging a peeling stick. You may find that you've knocked it out of whack a bit by manipulation. And so what I would suggest that you do is get your hair blower out. Use it on a piece of scrap first. See, here's my scrap in there. Just see what the uh, your product tolerates. And then go from there. You don't want to overheat it. And then you, you can manipulate it where, let's say that this black line was up, which it was on my, I didn't use heat. I just sprayed water under it and I, I stretched it back into position, okay? Uh, if you hang this stuff, you'll see that it, you don't, you, you'll match five feet up and then all of a sudden it'll be misaligned. So don't panic. Uh, you can get it back into shape. It takes some doing though. But what do you think? Nice, right? This is my little radio setup. Not radio, but you don't have to use the wire. But uh, it takes Bluetooth and you can play music from your phone. I can tell you this, if you play Berlioz, I guarantee you, you will hang your wallpaper better. Try Symphony Fantastique. So, I wet my corners so that I can move the corner. It goes back to being very tacky. Now, when you're in the corner, you have to cut it. If you don't, the material, go into your favorite restaurant, go look at the wallpaper, look in the corner. Half the time you're gonna find that the installer did not cut the corner and press up against it and the wall covering will move. And uh, that's not good. So anyway, <clears throat> If you're walking into the room and you're looking at this wall and you've cut your corner, what sheet is the lead sheet? In other words, what is the overlap sheet? Which is the dominant sheet? Is it this one? So let me just say, you have to overlap your sheet an eighth of an inch. That's two sixteenths. It's a very small amount of space, but it's a very important amount of space. So I cut it, which edge would you not see when you enter the room? Would you not see the edge of this sheet, were it to be the dominant sheet? 
hanging over this one? Or would you not see this edge of this sheet were it the dominant sheet, meaning that it overlap and just die into the corner, but overlapping that one? Which would you not see? A, this one, B, this one. Well, if you pick B, you'd be correct. Because when you overlap this sheet onto here, it fits snugly into the corner and the, and the edge dies against here and you don't see it. But if you make this sheet the dominant sheet, you would see the edge and you don't want to do that. A word about the corner. I told my customer before I begin, your corners are, are, uh, are not straight. So I told her what to expect with all of these lines. As you hang wallpaper for many years, you know what to discuss with your customer. So you have many lines here. So you're going to be, if your corners are off a lot, your lines are gonna be off a lot. And so, you know, you wanna give them the heads up. So in order to make this straight, this sheet here, in order to achieve plumb, I had to overlap the sheet that you're looking at onto the one against the main wall that you see coming in. And so we're losing seven eighths of an inch of the pattern. It's unfortunate, you know. Uh, it's, it's something that homeowners never take into account when they, you know, purchase the wallpaper, but you have to let them know. Because here's why. It comes a liability when you're <laughs> Trying to get out the door with your, with the pay, with your payment, you know? Okay, so, so this goes on to here. And just look down, just look at the, the pattern that we lose, you know? We don't like that as paper hangers. You see the lack of connection? Now, uh, you, you draw these lines in. You, you get your black crayon out and you make sure that you make these connections look like they fit. And that's how you get rid of that issue. If you're wallpapering under a sink and you want to go around these pipes, first see if you can get the escutcheon away from the wall. Sometimes you can't, but if you can, the way I have right here, you'll do a better job, okay? The one in the center can't be moved, so we're gonna cut around it.
If you like the video, please click on like. Are you subscribed to my channel yet? Yeah, well, if you subscribe, you'll get all the videos only if you hit the bell. You see the bell when you click on subscribe? You have to hit all, and then you will get all of the videos that come after this. Thanks for watching my channel.
Now, we've done the entire bathroom, right? And so we come to the situation over the doorway. You want to do it in the least conspicuous area. So this is over the doorway and we're going to put, we're going to install this piece, but we're going to cut it here so that we don't make a noticeable cut. We're going to try to blend this in. So let's put it up. Okay, so we're joining it here, right? So now we know the left side is set. That has to stay here. But where we end this has to make it look like it, it, it belongs, right? And so we have to do some magic, right or wrong. And so this is called a kill point Oh yeah, I'm going to. I'm saying David Solomon just be easier. This is a bigger, a big parking lot. Dallas Point, you gotta jam it in. You gotta she already went down right after I told her that you said that. Uh oh, did she like it? Yep. Good. No, no table. I love it. I put my little decorations in there. Woohoo! 